Right, so this is our latest project at Mopart's Racing. Just bought this uh, beautiful bike off a colleague of mine yesterday. He uh, started this build about two years ago but didn't have time to get it finished so I said well I'll take it over and Mopart's Racing will finish it off. Um, what is it? You may have seen some pictures posted online but I thought I'll quickly do a video about it to explain how everything is put together and how everything works. It's quite simple even though it looks pretty well extreme. Um, it's a two-cylinder boxer engine basically uh, with a cylinder with the pistons that run in sync. It's got a uh, stock electronic engine here, normal cylinder here, right? Like any Chow has. But then it has a centerpiece machine into it, which has the reed valve inlet system right there. Um, then it has the same, uh, a similar um, electronic engine on this side. Because you can see this engine here, the primary one, is the same as the secondary one. They're both large case half. So don't be mistaken, this is not the small case half and simply turn around. This is the large case half. Turned 180 degrees, facing backwards, with the ignition side sticking out basically. And what he did is he milled away all the uh, well excess stuff he didn't need. And this is where he mounted the second cylinder onto. So you got two large case halves basically um, around the centerpiece. That's basically the principle. Obviously, the crankshaft has been uh, redone. He welded two crankshafts together, so you got two big ends as well, obviously. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I'll try to post some pics uh, throughout the video to show you how the crankshaft looks. Uh, pretty cool bike. He extended the frame by about 7 centimeters because um, he needed to well extend it because of the second cylinder at the back. Yeah, I can try to get a bird's eye view. You can see it's a lot longer um, than a stock chow. Uh, it's going to run off two CDI ignitions. Uh, one here, one here. We're going to tuck them away down here, I think. Still got the light uh, uh, wiring going on. We can still put brake lights on it and everything. All those electricals are still in place. Then it's got the well machi remachined uh, flywheel. It's got some grooves in it for coolant and uh, cooling reasons. And um, yeah, this is the extra subframe uh, structure within the subframe to give it some more well, rigid ride, basically. Um, overall, pretty cool bike. Looking forward to finishing it. We still got to do, you know, the exhaust. We're thinking about putting one on the left side and one on the right side. That looks like this from the bottom. Get one facing forward. You got to re-weld that. Turn it the other way. And the other one on the front side, which is basically the stock position, obviously. You can run around this side. So we still have a lot to figure out. Uh, carb is going to be changed. This is currently a 17 millimeter or 17 and a half. Probably going to change it for 24 or like something bigger. To feed those uh, cylinders. Cylinders are the 42 uh, millimeter Polinis, um, very high RPM cylinders. So yeah, this is gonna definitely uh, definitely be a fun bike. It's gonna be fast as hell, hopefully. So thanks uh, for watching us, Mopars Racing, and stay tuned. We'll post some videos and pics along the way. Thanks.